Hi everyone, this is Spectre again, um, and I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching my last video. I'm glad you enjoyed it, and I had a lot of fun making it. So, this time I am going to draw Zim for you, since logically I drew Zim did last time. I'm gonna draw Zim this time. So, let's just get going right away with that. Okay. I always usually start with the eyes with these characters. It's just hmm, what I usually do. So, always, Zim has a nice big oval looking eyes here. And let's give him like that kind of squinty looking eye for this one here. I'm not as good at drawing Zim as Dib, but I'm going to give this a shot anyway. Zim's a little trickier for me. Probably just because I don't draw him as often. Okay, we got the two eyes now. Do the lines on the head. <clears throat> and Zim has a much blockier head than did, because it's just a bit rounded, so no real curves for Zim. Very pointy. Okay, and let me go ahead and put his mouth in there, because kind of goes off of his face sometimes, as you'll see. Get his zipper, zipper teeth here. Okay, so I made this line a little too out there. Let's bring it in a little bit. Now, here's what I mean about his mouth going off of his face. So you gotta kind of extend it out a little bit, given that whatever that line is, so that it actually fits his face. Alright. There's his head basically. Um, maybe make the shape a little different over here. Alright. And then, if you want human zoom, you of course add the pupils and the wig. But today, I think we're gonna go with Urkin Zim. And he has the two big shiny spots on his eyes, so. They do them a little different than the comic, I've noticed. Alright, there's him, basically. Now his antenna. <laughs> um, I like it when he has it going down like this. It's pretty cute. <laughs> I guess Zim would probably definitely be my sick, second favorite character ever, Dib. They just go together so well, you know? PB and J, that kind of thing. They really define each other. Most people know this. Hmm. I like them as. I wouldn't mind if they went in the direction where they were frenemies or just kind of friends, you know, who kind of always trying to outdo each other. I just see them as rivals. Um, you might want to know my opinions on Zadder. <laughs> Z-A-D-R. Um, I don't mind it. I even find it somewhat appealing. Probably not going to do any fan art for it or anything like that. Mm, don't really tend to get into the whole romantic side of things in Invader Zim very much. Even this pairings that I do support, like Dib and Gretchen. She's so damn adorable. Even that I don't harp too much on. You know what I mean? I don't really put too much stock into it. I just think it's cute fluff. That is pretty much my stance on Romance and Invader Zim. Um, again, as for Zatter, I get its appeal. It's not my thing, but I can see what people like about it. And, again, even some of the fan art I find pretty, pretty cute. <laughs> okay, so we got Zim's head. I think I'm done rambling about that. Okay, now for his little body. Give him his little 
and Zim has a lot of triangles on his body too, so he's kind of like Div in that way. Zim's little collar thing. And little green bean. He's so cute. Little little body there. Okay, and let's see. What are we gonna do with his arms? Um <laughs> That's always a challenge to figure out what pose to put him in. Let's see, let's give him his little stripes first. One, two, and three stripes. Okay. I think we're just gonna go with crazy kind of <sighs> any kind of pose thing. Then the nice thing about him is he's always making some kind of funny or interesting pose. These little triangles on his arm there. It's kind of hard to figure out where those go sometimes. You can even, it's not so great, but well, it's okay. <laughs> These little stripes on his arms, and you can, and the arms and the tapers because his gloves go on right there. Yep, more triangles. If you think of it like that, it makes things a bit easier. And let's not forget his pack. He can't live for long without that. So we always gotta put that on him. Okay, and let's see. His little legs. I just, I love their little legs. They're so cute. <laughs> it's in dibs. Just little tiny things. Little sticks. But they're really cute. I don't know. <laughs> Okay. Boots. Because he has cute little boots. Everyone has cute little boots in the show. Except Gaz, but she does in the comic. So. And I have to admit, I think tax boots are the best. <laughs> are pretty darn cool. claws, because, you know, he's usually raging against something, so he's always got those claws, you know? Obey the fist. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just color him as well. His claws. doing this all out of order. I apologize. <laughs> and finally, a little, little dim feet. And his are more triangular than dibs, who's got kind of his little bump in his shoe, so that's the difference between those. And wow, I think we have Zim. That was a lot faster than I thought it would be, so this video is going to be shorter, hopefully, because the last time I did it was ramble for 12 minutes. <laughs> but I really do appreciate you guys sticking with me through the whole thing. And I'm glad you enjoyed my rambling, because seriously, that's what it was. And that's pretty much what this one is. <laughs> Although I did focus a little bit more on the drawing this time. So there you go, there's basically my Zim. And you can add stuff like his little frowny lines. It's pretty cute too. And again, if you wanted to uh, make him a human, pupils and the wake. Pretty simple. And ta-da! There you have it. And sorry if it wasn't focused the whole time there. There's my zoom. Hold him up so I can see him a little bit better. And this time my cat didn't interrupt, so yay! <laughs> All right. Well, I'll probably do a few more of these. Um, probably Gaz next, um, and I don't know if I'll draw Gur because, well, I like Gur, but god, he's so popular, it's just like, there's no shortage of how to draw Gurs, so I'll let someone else teach you about that, um, and probably draw Tech, because, I don't know, I like her design, I really do, I may not like her attitude, I may not like her much as a character, but I love her design, so probably draw her too. And, you know, make some requests. Uh, 
I might get around to drawing some of the other characters. I could draw Keith or something. <laughs> well, alright everyone, glad you enjoyed this uh, last video, and I hope you enjoyed this one too, and I uh, hope you enjoy my videos in the future. Take care.